I bought the cheapest battery tester on Amazon. How's that for clickbait title? Um, I think I did. <laughs> I, I gotta, I guess, fra rephrase this because I had one of these on kind of like my wish list for Amazon. You know, I kind of keep a running list of stuff that I I want to buy when or stuff I see that I'd like to get at some point. And I decided I wanted to get a battery analyzer. I had one in my uh, wish list, like I said. Uh, what happened was I our Blu-ray remote control died. Didn't want to buy a universal, and without the remote, can't use it. And uh, you know, it doesn't really, it only has like a eject button on the front. And so I found one on Amazon, a replacement remote, uh, and it was Prime One Day. And the way Prime One Day stuff works is you buy it, and then I think you pay 35 for shipping, and, uh, or you don't pay 35 for shipping. You buy $35 worth of Prime One Day products, and you get it in one day, as long as your zip code is in, within their one day shipping area, and mine is. Um, so I got the remote, but I needed, I needed, uh, a few more, I needed more money. I need to spend more to get it. So I thought, you know what? I've been wanting a battery analyzer. Let me find one. And I went to my list and the one that I had in my list was not a one day item. So I started looking for other ones and I ran across this one. I think the original one I had in my wish list was like 40 bucks. And this one was Prime one day and it was $23. And I was like, you know what? For 23 bucks, I'm gonna take a chance on it. Uh, the reviews were mostly good. I think there were only two negatives, but there are only like seven reviews. So that's kind of, uh, we don't, we don't really know what we're getting. And, but they're mostly, all the ones I've, you see are mostly, you know, just cheap made in China stuff and so um or at least in my and what i wanted to spend so we've got it hooked up it's got nice clamps so we're gonna do a battery test we're gonna do in vehicle this is a regular auto battery we'll go by cold cranking amps this is a 700 cold cranking amps so i'm guessing we do zero seven oh oh Surface charge deleted. Just turn off lights. I'm guessing it's saying it's uh, I'm guessing it's probably saying it's um, needs to be charged. Yeah, charge battery. And I jump started this truck because the battery was down. I think something's draining it. So we've got state of health, 100% state of charge. It's 22.39, voltage is 12.15, cranking amps 410, and it's rated at 700. Um, so what we need to do is charge this battery, and then we'll retest it and see if that state of charge comes up and the cranking amps comes up. Um, we don't have a definitive test right now, but uh, what I'll do is I'll charge it, and then we'll test it again. Okay, on to the battery in the Suburban. The Suburban's got an Optima, it's four and a half years old. And let's see, we're almost four and a half years old. Let's see how it's doing. It's a little slower cranking than I would like, which makes me think this thing's starting to get a little worn. Starting to go. I think it's the cranking amps are down on it a little bit. Um, this thing has been run dead more than once. Something drained it, I'm not sure what. We'll do a battery test in vehicle. We've got an AGM. I don't know if it's flat or spiral. Let's just go with that. We'll go with cold cranking amps. 
is 900, 800. Testing. Good battery. So, um, needs to be charged just a little bit. Um, I did drive it today, so I'm not sure why it's showing that. Um, battery might be just a little bit weak and it's showing that. Um, 12 and a half volts, 770 cranking amps. It's good. Now let's just do it again. Let's see if we get the same results in vehicle. Let's do a spiral. And do it cold. 800 cold cranking amps. Testing. Yeah, about the same. 780. So, I would say, still got a good battery here, um, and I guess that's just the way this bourbon's cranking. So, I guess we could check the one in the... Let's check this one real quick. I know those terminals look awful, but that's not, that's grease. So they've got grease on them to help prevent corrosion. We've got just a little bit of corrosion right there, but not too bad. This battery is a couple months old. When did I put this one in? Nine of 17. Oh shoot, it's older than I thought it was. It's just over a year old. So let's see. Grab on right there. Should be a good spot. We'll do a battery test in vehicle, uh, regular auto. This one's 640 cold cranking amps cold cranking amps six forty This one tested really good. It's now this uh, this kind of proves something too. Uh, the Sienna here has been sitting here for a couple days, and so you can see the state of charge is down a little bit um, compared to the Suburban, which was drove earlier today. Um, but cold cranking amps and rated so. This battery tested really good, 635 cold cranking amps. So, we're in good shape. So, neat little tool to have. Um, I think it's accurate, <laughs> well, I guess we'll see. Um, you know, I don't really know I guess we'll see, um, we'll test the truck again. I, I put a charger on it since it had been dead earlier. Um, and we'll retest it after that charger has been on it. I'll probably test it tomorrow. It's it's just a maintainer, so it, it doesn't charge very fast. I think it's one and a half amps. So uh, we'll let it charge up till it says it's fully charged. And then we'll stick the, we'll stick that back on it and see how it, uh, how it does. So continue there. All right, next day, 
for this little charger maintainer on here and it's showing full charge so we're going to unplug it and it will go in the truck and we'll plug up our tester again Let's see what it shows now. Battery test, in vehicle, regular auto, cold cranking amps, 700. Testing. battery so this battery test bat which I kind of thought it probably was going to because um, this thing has issues starting so what I'll probably do is uh, the next couple days I need to go um, try to get a replacement for it and uh, get them to warranty it because uh, you know we're showing uh, 98% charged. Of course, it just came off the charger, and it um, it's only showing 550 cold cranking amps, which it should be 700. We'll run through it again, but uh, probably gonna. So let's check. Let's check the um, regular cranking amps. And we're in vehicle, regular auto. Let's go to the cranking amps, which is 875. We showed 550 cold cranking amps out of 700. Yeah, did even worse here. Not good. So yeah, I need to uh, go get this one warrantied because it's not uh, not doing well. It's uh, right at three years old, so I'm, I need to uh, definitely go get it replaced quickly before I end up having to buy a new one. So, pretty cool tool. Um, definitely not bad for 23 bucks. And like I said, it was one of the cheaper ones I was able to find. There may be cheaper ones out there. This one had seven reviews, five were good, uh, two were bad. And the, the complaints about those two were that, you know, they said it didn't read, it didn't give accurate readings um i don't you know they i don't know it could be a defective one or who knows what um this one it seems to i don't know from what i can tell judging by the batteries that i have that i can test it on and knowing how those batteries seem to operate it seems fairly accurate the only one a little questionable on was the Suburban as um, I feel like it should crank over just a little bit faster than it does but um, that might not necessarily be the battery so anyway I think that's all I'm gonna test uh, you know I could go test batteries I've got so many things that have batteries in them and I could test them for an hour-long video but uh, I think y'all get the point um, uh, you know, I could test the Bobcat, I could test the John Deere, I could test, the, you know, I could do test the lawnmowers, test the Mercedes, I could do all that stuff, but uh, I don't think we need to do that. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe for more. And I'll put a link to this in the description if y'all want to pick one up. So, thanks.